Yo guys, welcome back to our channel, it's me Lennon, and I'm back with another video. Um, so, I'm finally going to do the Battle Pass video. This video is going to take longer than usual, so just bear with me. This is probably going to be one of the longest um, videos that you'll see this season, because every Battle Pass um, video will be longer, so I'm just going to get straight into it. But before we do, please make sure that you like this video, subscri subscribe to my channel, and hit all post notifications bell, so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, share my channel um, with people as I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, but yeah, so let's go see what's in the Battle Pass, because if I'm honest, I haven't really seen it. Um, fully myself as, as well. Um, so as you can see, I am level 13. Um, so first we've got the Mandalorian, um, which is Star Wars series. We've got the Rise. Oh, by the way, every skin that you get, you get like a bank, a, a Beskar quest um, to complete, and that basically upgrades the Mandalorian's armor. So when you get to T100, you'll unlock Mandalorian's full armor then because of the quest. Um, and then we've got the Rise of the Devourer. Um, music pack we d we do have the banner icon um which is basically mandalorian um we've got 100 b box the journey spray which has mandalorian and baby order on um the gunslinger loading screen um the child um because that is what what baby order is called is called the child we've got the razor crest um the Razor Crest Glider, which is Mandalorian's, obviously, and that Star Wars series as well, which is pretty cool. <coughs> and then we've got the Grav Fusion app. Um, then the Ex Exterminator loading screen. We have the Dynamo Grav Suit Batblin. We've got another 100 B-Bucks. RGR, um, Emoticon. We've got the Hyperfly, um, the Hyperfly Contrail. Obviously, we've got the Reese skin and another Bas Beskar quest to um, unlock Mandalorian's armor. We've got the booming emote, which is one of my favorites in this battle pass. It is traversal as well. Um, we've got the dropout spray. We've got the Najari Warhammer. Really cool. Um, we've got another 100 V bucks. We've got the Hunter's Sky Blade, which, uh, Glider, which is obviously Reese's, and it's like wings. We've got the Banner Icon um, again, Re Reese Nebula Racer. So it's like an edit style for Reese, basically. Um, and then it's onto like Mancake stuff. Um, so we've got the Pancake Posse, um, the No Witnesses Spray, the Stacks Emoticon. We've got the the Jose um, pickaxe, which is really cool. One of my favourite pickaxes in this battle pass, which I'll probably wear most of the time. And um, we've got another 100 V bucks. We've got the is it diner or dinner dive? I'm not too sure, um, but it's really cool. We've got man cake and another best guy quest. Um, we've got the flapjack flyer. Really cool. I really do like this glider. <clears throat> We've got another banner icon, the Syrup Slinger, another one of my favourite emotes, which is really cool. This is a built-in emote for Mancake, by the way. Real cool. We've got the Breakfast Bounty Batbling, which is... I love it so much. Um, we've got the Stack'em High loading screen. We have got another 100 V-Bucks. We've got an edit style for Man Cake. So it's cake with no name. So it's like a cowboy style. Um, with like moustache and cowboy hat. Which I really like. We've got the Beast Fang um, pickaxes. It's duo pickaxes I believe. I'm not too sure if it's like a pickaxe. Where you get an edit style to make it dual or one. We've got the Unity Spray. The Wild Heart um, Wrap. We've got another 100 V bucks, so we get 1500 V bucks altogether in Battle Pass. We've got the Mave skin, my favourite skin in this whole Battle Pass. I have to say, it really is. Um, I love her edit stars, which you're going to see in a minute. We've got the Wild Heart Buckler Batbling for her. Um, another banner icon. We've got the Eagles Form Glider. I really love this so much. Um, literally, when I saw this, I was speechless. Um, We've got the Harpy's Claw, so she comes with another pickaxe as well. 
Um, so Maeve reactive hair, so that this is like a Medusa style, because she ha then has snakes for her hair, as you can see. I really do like this. Um, another 100 V-Bucks, Maeve unstoppable style. I'm not too sure what the difference is. I think it's more armor or something. I'm not too sure. Um, another pickaxe. Um, it's all it's like a style for the pickaxe. So yes, yeah, it, it's got styles. That's cool then. Um, we've got the Wild Heart Way um, loading screen. We've got the Mave Reactive Tail um, style. This is real cool because I'm pretty sure it's when you go in water that she changes to her tail because she's like a shapeshifter skin. Um, like if you've ever seen Moana, it's a bit like Maui where he can shapeshift into different things. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I really like that. I just can't wait to unlock it, go in water and see if it changes because this is probably one of the coolest skins that we've ever had in a battle pass. <clears throat> then we've got another 100 V-Bucks. We've got Maeve Shield Breaker skin. So yeah, it's like more armor and face paint and stuff. <clears throat> um, then we've got the Soul f f f Fall um, Contrail. We've got the Warrior Spirit loading screen. We've got the Crimson Wish Glider. I really do like this glider. Um, we've got another banner icon. One, one, another 100 V-Bucks. The Riff Spray. I don't actually know what that is supposed to say. We've got the Condor Skin. And another Beskar Quest. Which, uh, this is one, another one of my favourites in Battle Pass. In fact, I actually love all the skins in the Battle Pass. But, Maeve is my favourite. Then it's Condor. Um... And then he comes with the Batwing Spirits Pact, the Assassin Unknown Emoticon, <clears throat> if it's going to do it, I don't know if it is, there we go, so Assassin Unknown Emoticon, the Oath and Sorrow Pickaxes, then we've got the Vengeful Shadow um, Wrap, another 100 V-Bucks, and then we get a built-in emote for Condor, which is real cool, I have to say it is real cool. He like changes into like a different kind of thing. Um, I really like that. Um, and then we've got the Star Power Remix. Obviously you can't hear it because I've got my music turned down because if I had it turned up you wouldn't be able to hear me. Then we've got the Chibi Spray. Um, the Hyperboard um, Glider. It's like a futuristic glider. Um, I don't know why it went there. Um, so it's like a futuristic glider, so it's like anime if you get what I mean. I've never seen anime because I think it's actually rubbish. Um, I don't understand point in it. Certainly like a cartoon. Um, <clears throat> but then we've got another 100 V-Bucks. we got the Oh No Emoticon. The Target Acquired um, Contrail. I really do like this Contrail. Then we've got the Lexus skin. This is like a Japanese, um, what's it called, anime and if i'm honest i don't really like the skin i think it's cool and unique it's something different but in my opinion i don't really like it and i wouldn't see myself running this skin i'd see myself wearing it for a few matches or maybe like a few days but then i probably won't wear it in in future um but it is cool i have to say um then we've got the y labs wrap um the null claws now these are like her pickaxes but i can see myself running these because i really do like like these pickaxes it's dual pickaxes but it's something different like real cool and then we've got the let's go mecha fusion i'm not even going to try to pronounce that because Le lexa is like a robot skin that's what she is um she comes with a m mecha fusion interface um, we've got another 100 V bucks. We've got a built-in emote for her Hunter Protocol. <clears throat> I have to say that is a really cool emote. Um, then we've got the Menace Reigns um, loading screen, the Shield of of the Mighty um, Batling. Another 100 V bucks. We've got the Menace skin, really cool. It's like a gladiator skin. I'm pretty sure. We've got another banner icon. We've got a menace mask style, so it's like an edit style for him. Um, then we've got the Victory Laurels emoticon. We've got the Victor's Flail um, pickaxes, so it's a bit like Ghost Rider's pickaxes that we saw last season um, in his bundle. Um, then we've got menace challenger style, so then he gets even more armor, like a shorter piece. 
Um, then we've got the Lion's Roar Wrath. We've got the Menace Light Helmet um, style. <clears throat> Real cool. Um, we've got the Menaking. Um, look, I don't even know what I'm about to say. Um, spray then. Menace Light Helmet Plume. Now this is really cool. This is like back in like what Romans wear, but it's like a flame. Really cool. Um, we've got another one under V bucks. We've got the menace undefeated style. So then he's got like full armor. So this looks like a rich style basically. Um, then we've got a warrior prepares emote. Now this is a cool emote. I'd say it's un an uncommon. Um, then we've got the final style for him, Menace Heavy Helmet, and I really do like this style. This is my favourite style for him, obviously because it's the full, um, the full um, style. And then we're going to get more. Um, we've got another banner icon. We've got the Mando Emoticon. We've got another 100 V Bucks. <clears throat> we've got the Child. So finally, we get Baby Yoda at T100. Um, I wish we got him before because I really do want him so bad. <coughs> like I am a Star Wars fan, um, so I do really want him. Um, and then we've got. <coughs> Sorry for my coughing. I've got a sore throat today. Um, then we've got the Mandalorian clothing um, and a best guy quest. So then you unlock his full clothing here, full silver and stuff. I really do like it. Um, and then afterwards, after T100, we get like epic quest reward so we've got another banner icon we've got reese galactus ranger style old school anthem obviously you won't be able to hear it um as i said we've got an edit style for mancake so mancake lonesome hero we've got the bright box control so these are after you finish quests and stuff which i really do like um then we've got the condor wrap so it's like a green style for him um We've got the mashed potato emote. It's a real funny emote, if I'm honest with you. Then we've got the Lexa Infiltrator style. Um, the, we've got the ban another banner icon. And then we've got Lexa War Strike. So this is after her built in emote, which is cool. And then we've got a Royal emote, and it's a girl Midas, as you can see. So, <clears throat> what I was saying yesterday to my friends. They wouldn't put this loading screen in unless there was going to bring a girl Midas into the game. So girl Midas is either going to be the secret skin, she's either going to come to the item shop, or she's either going to be the next skin in the monthly crew pack. Um, so that's next month. But yeah, I really do like this loading screen. And then I thought this was the final style, but it's not. So we've got Menace Undefeated Flame, and I'm pretty sure this is the last style for him. Um, Really cool, and I could see myself wearing this skin. I could see me wearing it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, and then obviously we get the secret stuff. So it goes up. So a banner, an emoticon, a spray, loading screen, outfit, which, which is a skin. Uh, we got the wrap, a bat bling, a built-in emote, and a harvesting tool. So in my opinion, this could be Girl Midas. This could be Agent John Jones, as we saw in the trailer, because where is he at? He was in, he's in the trailer, and he, he could possibly be the secret skin, and in my opinion, I think he's going to be the secret skin. Um, but yeah. But anyway, guys, that's it for the Battle Pass video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being patient. If you have watched it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate it. I would appreciate it even more if you could subscribe to my channel, like this video. Um, also, hit all post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, share my channel with people as I am trying to grow grow my channel. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for today. I'm not going to keep you for any longer. 